coded. Indo-Russian defense trade. India and Russia are set to negotiate a major multi-billion dollar defense deal on the sidelines of the BRICS summit in Goa on 16th of October 2016. Indian government looks to re-establish its military and defense relationship with Moscow and prevent the Kremlin from drifting into partnership with their primary regional rival Pakistan. The move towards reasserting the defense relationship with Russia also plays favorably for Moscow with concern that New Delhi may be drifting deeper into the US axis of influence. The meeting between India and Russia comes in the backdrop of the first ever joint Russia-Pakistan military exercise recently. It also comes at a time, when India is undertaking large-scale defense modernization program, involving replacing old Russian equipment with modern ones from the country itself and from other nations. Prime Minister Narendra Modi will hold detailed bilateral discussion with Russian President Vladimir Putin on a range of issues including cooperation in the areas of defense, security, trade, and investment. Some of the most important defense deals currently under discussion are, purchase of five S-400 Triumph long-range air defense missile systems, cam of 28 helicopters, and upgradation of the Sukhoi-30 MKIs. Another project under focus would be the long-pending joint development of the fifth-generation fighter aircraft FGFA. India is also looking at leasing an Akula-class nuclear submarine from Russia. Number 1. S-400 Triumph is an air defense missile system developed by Almaz Central Design Bureau of Russia. S-400 system development began in the late 1990s. The completion of the project was announced in February 2004. The S-400 Triumph is a long-range anti-aircraft missile system, and is able to hit multiple range air targets, including fighter jets, bombers, drones, unmanned aerial vehicles, ballistic and cruise missiles at ranges of about 400 kilometers. The S-400 Triumph air defense system integrates a multifunction radar, autonomous detection and targeting systems, anti-aircraft missile systems, launchers, and command and control center. The 55K6C command and control system of the S-400 Triumph is based on the Ural Mobile Command Post Vehicle. The command post is equipped with LCD consoles to process the airspace surveillance data. It controls and monitors long-range surveillance radar, tracks airborne threats and prioritizes the threats. The first missile inducted for the system was the 48N60M. The missile can destroy airborne targets within the range of 250 kilometers. The 40N6 missile of the S-400 has a claimed range of 400 kilometers and uses active radar homing to intercept air targets at great distances. The launchers are based on the BAS, 6x6 tractor truck or MAZ series transporter erector launcher vehicle. The TEL vehicle can carry up to four launch tubes holding a mix of missiles. The S-400 can engage up to 80 targets simultaneously, with as many as 72 missiles at altitudes of 5 meters to 30 kilometers. Maximum target speed is 4.8 kilometers per second. When deployed along the border with Pakistan, the system will provide India with 600 kilometers radar coverage and the option of shooting down a hostile aircraft or missile 400 kilometers to 40 kilometers outside its territory. The S-400 Triumph missile defense system is a significant strategic upgrade in India's military hardware in its pursuit to become a global power. The cost of the deal has not been divulged by India, but according to other sources, India is likely to pay approximately 6 billion US dollars for 5 S-400 units. Analysts are speculating that the S-400 advanced anti-aircraft system renders the F-35 fighter jet stealth technology utterly useless, the vaunted aircraft that the US spent $1.5 trillion on developing. Number 2. Russia and India may also be looking to come to an agreement on naval defense systems. A cooler class submarines feature very low acoustic signatures and can carry up to 12 submarine launched cruise missiles with nuclear warheads and a range of 3,000 kilometers in addition to anti-ship missiles and torpedoes. 
the Russian submarine likely to be handed over to the Indian Navy will be the Kashalit K-322 nuclear-powered attack submarine. The 8,140-ton Kashalit has a submerged speed of 30 knots and an operating depth of 530 meters. It holds a crew of 73 and is equipped with four 650mm and four 533mm torpedo tubes. The likely transfer date of the Kashalit will be in late 2018, given that it will take approximately three years to modernize and test the boat, as well as to train an Indian submarine crew for it. Number 3. The Sukhoi 30 MKI which is the mainstay of Indian Air Force fighter fleets will have to undergo upgradation to remain relevant to future warfare. Although the software is wearing out too fast, the fighter remains a potent combat machine. Indian Air Force would be significantly enhancing its combat capabilities by upgrading its most formidable Su-30 MKI fighters to the approaching level of fifth-generation fighter aircraft, which India plans to develop jointly with Russia. The Indian Air Force would have almost 270 Sukhoi 30 MKIs by 2017, and plans are to upgrade all the jets to the near fifth-generation level and they will be named Super Sukhoi. The upgraded Super Sukhoi would also have advanced stealth characteristics. Super Sukhoi will have same engine as in FGFA. Number 4. The Ministry of Defense of India has decided to speed up the negotiations with Russia on the joint development and creation of FGFA, fifth generation fighter aircraft to this year to sign a contract for the development work. The two nations signed a 50-50 joint venture to build the aircraft in December 2011. According to the prepared project, India and Russia will invest $4 billion to develop prototypes of their test and establish the necessary infrastructure for the next six years. The total cost of production of 127 single-seat fighters in India is about $25 billion. Number 5. Russia's key industrial body, Rostock State Corporation, expects to sign an agreement for production of Ka-2260 helicopters domestically in India. The Ka-2260 is a light twin-engine multi-role helicopter for military and civilian purposes. Kamov-2260 will replace the aging Cheetah and Chetak choppers that the Indian Army uses in high-altitude areas. The light multi-purpose helicopter is designed for work in difficult conditions of high mountains, hot climate, and on marine areas. It allows for reconnaissance, targeting and monitoring of transportation, up to 1,500 kg. The military version, helps in hard-to-reach conditions. The Ka-2260 copters are fitted with high-visibility nose and a new rotor system. The chopper can carry about seven paratroopers and has a maximum takeoff weight of 3,600 kg. India-Russia military technical cooperation has evolved from a simple buyer-seller framework to one involving joint research, development and production of advanced defense technologies and systems. This sums up the latest Indo-Russian defense update. Thanks for watching. Subscribe now for more updates.